Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to the Springfield Extravaganza. It's this giant antique show and flea market and it's one of my favorite days of the year. And so I thought I would take you today as I've taken you before. However, we're going to put a little fandom twist on it. So I'm going to see how much fandom stuff I can find at this flea market. Here we go. We've been here so far. An hour and a half, maybe. Okay. It's been an hour and a half. I purchased one thing, not fandom related, but I think it's awesome. You might not think it's awesome. Mom, how would you describe my first purchase of the day? Creepy. Creepy. Not just a little. <laughs> Okay, wow, it's actually been an entire week later and I am outside of Heritage Square Antique Mall right now. I did find a couple things in Extravaganza that I will show you at the end of this video, but I didn't get as much footage from Extravaganza as I wanted to, so I thought we would go to the Antique Mall and see what kind of cool fandomy things they have here today as well. It will also be a lot easier for me to talk to the camera here because it's slower and um, I mean extravaganza is so much fun and I love it so much but for filming sometimes it's a little bit stressful. It's loud, it's crowded, and there are people everywhere looking at you like you're crazy for talking to a camera. Here there will just be a few people, so I can deal with that. Let's see what we can find in the fandom realm here at the Antique Mall. Right off the rip, we are finding Funko Pops. Not antiques, but definitely fandom. What is this? They're just Westworld figures. Pretty cool. This light behind me keeps flickering. Someone call the Winchesters. There is a giant black suit Spider-Man down here. Look how big this is. I can't even fit him in the frame. Funny story, so I'm in this booth looking at this giant Spider-Man. Who walks up to me but my mother? <laughs> my parents were here. So I stopped what I was doing and I started shopping with my parents. Saw some good stuff, filmed a few clips. And dad tells me, hey, I saw something I thought you might like. There's this big Spider-Man. And that's what I was holding when mom walked up to me. So um, do, I, do I have to get this Spider-Man? I kind of have an idea of where I want him to go, so. I think I might have to do it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm really into this clone trooper helmet right now. I know this is super gross, but I'm gonna put it on. Well, that's a good fit. <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. This might have to come home with me for ten that's bucks. Exactly right. Is that all it is? Ten bucks? Yeah. yeah I'm like, this good. is ten dollars worth of entertainment for yeah, sure. The joys of filming in public. No big deal, just got Spider-Man chilling in the back seat. So when I was checking out, the lady was like, oh, these are gonna make some little guy really happy. <laughs> uh, they're for me. One eternity later. 
Well, hello there. It is some time later because I am a responsible professional YouTuber and I'm finally ready to show you the things that I got from Springfield Extravaganza and the Antique Mall. I just want to warn you this first item might be a little triggering or upsetting if you have a doll phobia, so just close your eyes for like five seconds. I won't show it for very long, but I got a creepy doll. I mean, would you look at this? So this is Mary. We have another creepy doll downstairs. Her name is Shelly, Mary Shelly, get it? And she is the newest potentially haunted member of this family and she came from Extravaganza. The other piece I picked up at Extravaganza is this Mickey cardboard dual-sided display thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's very cute. And then next to it, uh, this did not come from Extravaganza. This actually came from the Antique Mall and not the day I went. This was previous. Uh, we got this giant C-3PO standee that used to uh, chill at Kroger and promote Kosai. So that was a cool find. Of course I left with the Clone Trooper helmet. You had doubts. And then the piece de resistance has to be Spidey. He's hanging. It's awesome. He oversees Kenobi during his bath time. Good job, Peter. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite fandom item either that I picked up or that you saw in this video. I've also been working really hard on kind of amping up the joy level of our room because it was kind of boring before and now it's not so boring. So if you guys wanna see a bedroom tour, let me know in the comments down below and I could do that when it's finished. Ooh. Oh, she looks good. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it lets me know to make more videos like this. I really like finding fandom items in unexpected places and you really get like one of a kind stuff you don't see everywhere. So if this is your bag and you would like to see me make more videos like this, hit the thumbs up. It just lets me know to do so. With that being said, I am off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out and I will see you in another video very soon with better hair and maybe some makeup. I don't know. See ya.